After building the, uh, my Ford Aeromax uh, semi truck, uh, I realized that no truck is complete without a trailer. So I went about uh, building a uh, flatbed for this. I'll show you how this is done. I started with a uh, an old an old brooder cement truck that I purchased at a thrift store. It's in uh, poor shape. I was missing the doors uh, and the drum, but there's a lot of good detailed parts on this, and this is going to be the base for my for my flatbed trailer. First, I had to take the truck apart. I pulled the back off, the cab off, pulled both front wheel sections off which I'm going to save for later on especially this center section that has the fenders because I've got a project that I'm going to use those for and then I cut the frame shortened it because I just need the back half with the axles uh, if you want you can paint this and uh, bring out the details with the suspension um, it's not an actual working suspension but the details are there to make it look good Okay. Now, first off, just putting just just putting the deck over top of the of the frame, the tires are going to rub on the on the deck when it articulates, so it's real close. And also, it's going to be a little bit low for my fifth wheel on the truck. So I went ahead and had to uh, raise that up a little bit. I uh, started with a piece of just an old piece of cedar that I uh, cut to size and painted to fit on the frame. I'm going to be attaching that with a little bit of shoe glue, and then I'm going to drill and drill a couple screws in there. And uh, these are just some old uh, self-tapping screws from an old kit, RC kit. The shoe glue is just to kind of hold it in place while I pre-drill the whole pre-drill and put the screws in. Now that I've got the riser attached to the frame, I've got something that looks like this. Uh, for the actual deck, I'm using some eighth inch plywood that I've cut to size, put a little bit of stain on. Now before I put the deck on, I've got uh, a little bit of edging I'm going to put on it, some uh, a framework on it I'm putting on the edges. Uh, these right here are pieces from an old window frame. I uh, pulled the glass out. It's got a nice channel in it that fits over the plywood really nice. Uh, I've got the ends mitered and it's going to go over the plywood and give it a nice finished edge and also there's a groove on the outside allows you to use you know some player some place to anchor um, if you have like ratcheting tie downs or bungee cords to attach things to the trailer. Now with the framework glued in place, uh, gives a nice finished look to the deck. Uh, one more touch I'm going to add here. Uh, at the front of the deck, I've got a piece of aluminum. Uh, this was actually a piece from uh, an old uh, scrap aluminum ladder. Uh, I cut it out um, you know, to fit. I'm going to be screwing that. Attaching it to the front of the trailer here. All right, now that that's attached, you can go ahead and attach the deck to the frame. I'm going to go ahead and get it lined up. I'm going to get it lined up. I'm going to pre drill and screw the deck into. That piece of my piece of wood here that I've got is a riser. 
Okay, now I've got the deck screwed down, screwed down to the frame. It's time to work on how I'm going to attach this to the truck at the fifth, you know, at the fifth wheel hitch. What I've done, I've got a four millimeter screw, a piece, an old piece of steel tubing. And I've got some uh, some washers that I'm using. I've got a hole drilled in the trailer already. I'm gonna put the washer through there. Put or put the screw through. Washer and everything. Okay. Now I've got to put another washer and a nut on top to secure that in place. And you can see where that pin is. I'm going to bring the truck back around and show you how it hooks up. All right. Fifth wheel hitch. Okay, now bring this bring the trailer up, release the hitch. It locks in. It's nice and tight. You've got your full articulation. And there you have it. Nice detail on the on the trailer with the uh, with your uh, framework here. And the front the truck even came with uh, you know mud flaps and lights which I may go ahead and uh, pull those off and put some real lights on later on uh, still need to work out some uh, landing gear but uh, for now it's fun the, tra the trailer is fully functional otherwise uh, I'm gonna spend more time pulling the trailer than parking it anyway so uh, thanks for watching. I hope this gives you some ideas uh, for some future builds. Uh, this didn't cost me much, maybe three dollars worth of materials, you know, that included the truck since the wood was free, the window frames were free, uh, ladder was free, old uh, reused screws. Uh, just use some creativity and uh, see what you can come up with. Until next time, I'll see you later. Thank you. After I finished building this trailer, I did some tests, and uh, this uh, screw and steel tubing kingpin seemed to work out pretty well. But I happened to find some barrel nuts in the garage and I think I'm going to be swapping it out for that that's going to be a, I think that'll be a better option uh, again yeah the other method works just fine but this is just another way that you can uh, go about getting the same results